Hi guys, Nexi here, back with another video, and today we're gonna review another 4K Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector. This time is the Vava 4K. Stay tuned. This is the new home cinema laser projector from Vava, and it comes with some very nice specs. Beside nice design, this projector is ultra short throw, and it can project image in 4K up to 150 inches from a very close distance. It supports HDR10, it has 3000 to 1 contrast ratio, it uses LPD 3.0 laser light source technology, combined with a 20 laser diodes at the light source, rated at 6000 lumens and with a screen brightness of 2500 NXE lumens. The color gamut is over 85% NTSC, it has the high quality built-in Harmon Carton speakers and it comes with a very long lifespan of 25,000 hours which means if you're watching movies for 6 hours every day, this projector will last you for more than a decade, which is very impressive. Now let's do a quick unboxing. The new Vava laser projector comes in a white box, which looks quite nice. In the middle there is an image of the projector and the remote. On the bottom we have a nice laser out features. And on the side there is a label with a model number and the list what is actually in the box. Now when you open the box you will find a nice user guide in 9 different languages which will tell you pretty much everything you need to know about the projector, how to set it up and how to use it. Under the user guide there is a small microfiber cloth for cleaning the lens and there is a small box in which you will find the power cord, batteries and the remote control. Moving forward we are coming to the projector itself which is wrapped in this protective plastic foil. And here you can see everything that was inside the box. When it comes to design, this projector looks really nice, and the fabric that covers the sides give the projector a very slick and modern look. The top case of the projector is in a white color, there is a power button on the front, and the laser cover lens with infrared sensor for dice protection. Also there is engraved VAVA logo, and a few printed features on the left and right. On the front side of the projector, under the fabric, there is a 30 watt high quality speaker setup by Harman Kardon. On the right side there is an air intake grill with a dual 92mm cooling fans and a mechanical tilt adjustment. On the left side we have the same layout with one Haydn 92mm exhaust cooling fan. On the back of the projector there are three HDMI version 2.0 ports with a HDCP 2.2 compliance. Next we have a USB port, audio out, audio video out, optical out, gigabit LAN internet and the AC socket. Also it's a good to point that this projector comes with universal voltage power supply and it will work with any AC voltage no matter where you live. The remote control comes in a white and grey color and works on a Bluetooth. The buttons are nice and responsive and it feels nice in the hand. Now in terms of setup it's a straightforward. Once you place the projector on the TV stand and pair your remote control and set your language you will have the two options. Projecting on the wall or projecting on the screen. Whichever you choose you'll have a nice guide with a text and images, which is really nice. Now for those who have projector screen, adjusting will be easy. Once you adjust the tilt mechanically on the side of the projector, there is a 8 point keystone screen adjustment and electronic focus, which really helps to fine tune and match your projector with the screen. The user interface on the projector is simple and very easy to use. Once you go to the first boot setup and the screen adjusting, you'll end up on this main screen. Here you can see your all input ports with a small preview. When it comes to the software, the Vava runs custom Android version 7.1 and navigation through the software is a fast and snappy without any noticeable lag. As far as the language options goes, the projector comes with a full English support as well with a few more languages that you can choose from the list. In terms of connectivity, there is a gigabit LAN internet, dual VIFI, 2.4 and 5 GHz band, as well the Bluetooth 4.0 and there is a built-in mirror option which will let you to control the projector with your Android smartphone. There is also a file manager from which you can open the images, play videos, music, install side apps or browse all files from the internal flash memory, USB device or the network attached storage. The internal memory is around 32GB from which around 25 is user available. With a built-in video player the projector can play MP4 or MKV video files and 4K movies without any problem both from internal memory, USB device or from your NAS. The built-in video player works very nice and there is a plenty of options that you can change. 
For instance, you can set the video ratio, change soundtrack, add subtitle, change audio effect, you can switch between few preset picture profiles, set projector brightness output on standard on high, set HDR, change color of the temperature profiles, and if you really want to, you can customize each parameter and custom tune colors as well. Now in terms of apps, there is no Google Play Store available on this projector. Instead, there is an app store called Aptoid TV, which indeed does have a lot of apps and games, including YouTube, Netflix, and many other. Only problem is that not all the apps on this store will work on this projector. For example, the YouTube app, which I installed, does work, but sadly, there is no 4K support. While the Netflix app doesn't work at all. Some games that I tried was working well, and some games does not, which is unfortunate. So to get official Google TV and full support for Netflix and YouTube in 4K on this projector, I would recommend to get some official Google certificate 4K Android TV box like Nvidia Shield or this MIUI Box S that I use, which is very affordable and it has support both for Netflix and the YouTube in 4K. To get the best possible picture quality on this projector from the external device like Android TV Box, PC or the Blu-ray player, you should always give this projector 4K input resolution even if you are watching some non-4K content. Giving the projector a 4K input, the software will not apply video noise processing and you will get much better picture quality with a 4K input instead of 1080p. If you are looking to enable 4K 60 frames per second on the VAVA, just hold the right button on the remote control, go to the HDMI 2.0 and set it on enable. After that, you will be able to switch input resolution to 4K, 60 frames per second. When it comes to the brightness output, the VAVA is the brightest UCT laser projector that I ever tested so far. This projector comes with a 20 lasers as a light source compared to my Xiaomi laser projector that has only 16. And as soon as I turn on the new VAVA, I notice right away that the picture is more bright compared to the Xiaomi. To confirm this claim, I decided to measure the brightness output with the light meter and compare it with my Xiaomi laser projector that is my TV replacement and daily driver for the past 6 months. So I set both projectors on highlight mode and I took measurements with the light meter from the same spot on my 100 inch UCT ambient light rejecting screen. And here are the results. The Xiaomi peaks around 1600 lux and the VAVA peaks around 2000 lux which is a very noticeable difference in the brightness output. I also measured the brightness level of the red, green and blue color the new VAVA got higher results than the Xiaomi on every color, which is impressive. The higher brightness output can also be seen on watt meter. On the high light mode, the VAVA used around 330 watt and the Xiaomi used around 280 watt, which means that the new VAVA has around 50 watt more powerful laser light source, which is a big difference. Also, my thermal camera shows pretty good temperature and the heat dissipation on the projector case, which is expected, as the VAVA is a slightly bigger and more heavier projector than the Xiaomi and it have a more larger heat sinks inside the case to be able to handle the higher power output. In terms of noise level, my dB meter shows pretty stable noise level at 37 dB, which is just 3 dB increase over the Xiaomi and overall pretty good results consider how powerful the light source actually is. Speaking of noise level, the sound that comes for the Harman Kardon inbuilt speakers is a very good and it can go very loud without any distortion and much louder compared to my Xiaomi projector. The speakers in Avava do have a crystal clear and detailed sound with a good mids and highs, but it lacks the low frequency and a deep bass compared to the Xiaomi projector. I try to adjust the sound in the settings, but the Vava does not have equalizer or the surround sound effect that you can tweak like my Xiaomi projector does. On the Vava, there is only preset profiles and that's it. So the lack of these audio settings in the software Lim is the hardware great potential, so I think that Avava should consider adding more audio settings in the future firmware upgrades. Of course, the people who use additional surround sound will not have this issue. Now when it comes to the picture quality, the new Vava laser projector performs excellent and the picture quality is fantastic. Watching 4K content and movies on this projector is a real joy. The picture is very bright, crystal clear and sharp, the colors are nice and vivid, and the visual experience is awesome. This projector handles HDR pretty well and the picture quality is great with a good contrast and deep black levels. On SDR content and the highlight power mode, 
The picture is so bright that it lights up entire room at night, even with this grey UCT light rejecting screen. In terms of picture quality comparison between the VAVA and the Xiaomi, the new VAVA outperforms my Xiaomi as it has a brighter image with better contrast and more vivid and accurate colors. For example, in this movie scene from Avatar, the Xiaomi has more blue tint and less accurate colors compared to the VAVA and you don't get the same visual experience. For example, in this movie scene with the torch, the color of the fire on the Xiaomi is too much white and it clips out, so you lose many details. While on the VAVA, you can clearly see the right color of the flame and the more details in the torch and flame and around it without clipping. On some other movies like this scene from Oblivion, the color of the people's faces on the Xiaomi is too much light and pale compared to the VAVA. And in some dark scenes, the picture on the Xiaomi was too much washed out with the less details and contrast compared to the VAVA, on which the picture quality on the same scenes was much better with more accurate colors, better contrast, much deeper black levels and more details. So for me personally, I think the VAVA is better performer than the Xiaomi, but I'm curious to hear what you guys think, so please leave the comments below what picture do you prefer more and why. Now in terms of any complaints about this projector, there are two. First, I wish the projector comes with a Google TV and official Play Store since it's for international market. On other hand, my Xiaomi projector has no Google support either, but it's made for Chinese market, so I cannot complain. The second complaint is the lack of the support for 3D, which my Xiaomi projector do have. And I asked the VAVA support about this, and they told me that they will add support for 3D in a future firmware upgrades, which is a good news. Other than that, I'm really impressed with this projector and consider that it has a very long lifespan, modern design, good audio and amazing picture quality, the new VAVA 4K laser projector is a great choice for everyone who are looking for the home cinema projector and I can definitely recommend this one. The new VAVA 4K will not disappoint you. Alright guys, I hope that you liked this video and found it useful, link of this projector, Android TV box and the UCT projector screen you will find in the video description. Thanks for watching and I see you next time. Bye bye.